<laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm sitting here making a series of video while I'm sitting here because if I go back to my bedroom, I might make another video tonight, but I ain't talking about nothing. I um, started cleaning out my closet the other day and found this on the floor. And we know who. Look at that. Look at the poor bird. His nose, his beak is gone. And we know who did this. I made this. It's a purse. I made this a long time ago. And that's the purse part. And I sold a few of them. Because when you when you wear it, when I wear it, people would want that purse. I want that purse. If I take it off and sell it to him. But then he has buttons on his feet, and you could unbutton him if you don't want him. If you don't want a bird on your shoulder. But I I carried him with me on a flight a couple of times. And one time the uh, pilot he wanted him, and I say sure. I unbutton him. I say good luck and. After the flight was over, he gave him back to me. But this is Paul Petey. Sonny got a hold of Petey. I don't even think I have a pattern for Petey. If I wanted to make him again, make another one. And it's a lot of pieces to him. He got two wings, and then he got a tail, three pieces to his tail, and his body. But anyway, that's that's what Sonny does. Eat up everything. I mean, why don't we make her stop? I guess she it started tasting bad, huh? Poor baby. But um, this is what Sonny will do for you. Eat up your stuff. Um, that's what I. This is this is. Sonny's life, Sonny's world. Sonny, come here. Sonny Ray. She's somewhere around here hiding. If I say if I say treat, she'll come and run him. You um it was a YouTuber that I used to follow that has a dog and um they her dog does some of the same thing. I think he's a spoil worse now, son. They about the same kind of spoil. But it's so funny about this situation. I watch her sometimes just because I, I used to like watching her. And I still watch her. And she probably still watch me. But we are not uh, subscribed and we have blocked each other. But it's so funny how... I think you would probably call it universal consciousness because I can make a video and don't upload it because I'll, I'll make them but don't upload them. And then she could be talking about the same thing. That's like, God, that, that's too amazing how we be thinking the same thing. And she was mentioning something about these people in these cages. Now, I don't know if YouTube is putting things in your your movie, your lineup, because you have recommended stuff to watch, but it was recommended that I watch these people in Hong Kong, how they were living. Oh, and I watched, I don't know, about five or six videos about the living condition. And these people living in cages. And I do believe we were watching this stuff at the same time. It was so depressing. How can you live like that? And they showed this old man living in a cage. And some of them were living in rooms that's smaller than a jail cell. And they, they some of them might have had a cooker. But they all, maybe 30 people in this hot bill, and some of them had heat strokes. They were all having to use the same restroom, and that was like unbearable. 
And when I go outside and walk, I think about them. I said, now, I would rather lay or uh, put me a pallet on the ground and to sleep like that. I don't know if, if Hong Kong doesn't want them outside like we have homeless people in America. But God, that was so depressing. And it took a minute for me to, you know, revive myself. That, that took a lot out of me to go through that. And I didn't know the purpose of them showing us that. Because that came up in my recommended. I, uh, they, YouTube or whoever was in charge of, I think, <laughs> are they trying to prepare us for stuff like that? No, well, it's just no way. But see, Hong Kong is a part of um, islands and stuff, and they have a lot of, um, they don't have a lot of land and hills. They have a lot of hills and stuff, and the buildings, uh, you can't build there. But I tell you what, the rest of these places, because my son was telling me how New York was, and I actually went there to watch him for his graduation. When he graduated from Brooklyn College, and man, they well, let me fix this. They live totally different from people in Texas. You know, people talk about people in Texas, and we slow and this and that. But I bet you one thing: we got grass and land. It, we have a lot of land in Texas. Now, I can imagine California probably does. It probably have a lot of mountains. I've been to California before, but I just didn't. Not live in California. Should have L.A. for a minute. But ain't nothing like Texas. And we have big houses, big apartments. I have a, a two-bedroom apartment. Upstairs, downstairs, two bedrooms, a garage. And I said, well, dog, what? I don't understand. I know how come those people in Hong Kong just don't get up and go somewhere else. I don't mean you got to lay there and eat grass and stuff, but I just, well, they eat dogs. I don't know. Shoot, I just, ugh. But anyway, um... That 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 disturbed my spirit. It did, but I'm I'm better because the other day I said I'm gonna watch this again and see if it affects me the way it did. And I watched it maybe two or three videos, and it made me grateful. But then I saw that these people. They wasn't that unhappy either. They wasn't because how you going to miss something that you never had? So, it's okay. But anyway, I'm on eight minutes, past eight minutes. And that's all I'm talking about, about how uh, you call it universal consciousness or whatever. How, I guess you could say... It's not like light minds think alike, but I always call it the consciousness is floating and some people uh, see the same thing, especially if you if you are a seer and and things affect you the same way. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and try to stick with my subject because hell I don't even know what this subject is. I have to go <laughs> go back and listen to it and see what, what I'm talking about. But our president, good Lord, our country is going in a funny, funny direction. And I'm an older person. I'm not the oldest person. No, I'm not nearly about that. I might live here another 20 years. Who knows? But I can tell you the change because food does not taste the same. They have done something to the food. They've done something to the seasoning. And a lot of people say, well, your taste buds get old and that's why food tastes different. I don't believe that. 
Because if that was the case, all the food would taste different. Yeah, watermelons, squash, even corn has changed. Chicken, everything has a different taste. Now, oranges and apples, maybe it's something that is in the soil. I don't know, but certain foods have changed. But if you don't remember, if you wasn't around and know what it used to be like, you don't have nothing to compare it to. So I'm just telling y'all that the food is not the same. Trust me, it's not. <laughs> and I ain't crazy. I'll talk to you guys later about something else, okay? Bye. I guess I'll talk to y'all later. I'm saying I don't want to cut off. I'm going to try it again. Goodbye.